happy Tuesday. How are you? What's going on in your part of the world? My name is Lisa Mustard and today I want to talk to you about how to be more productive on social media and less time than necessary or less time than maybe you're spending on it right now because a lot of us, right? A lot of us know that when we grow our brand on social media, when we are making new friendships and growing relationships and networking, that takes a lot of time, right? It can take a lot of time. Thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks for hopping on. I hope you find value in this. I just really, truly hope you do. It takes a lot of time and energy for us to connect and grow relationships and then gain customers, gain business partners. Hey, Toby, thanks for being here. So if this sounds like something that you would like to learn more about, stick around. I'm going to share with you how I do it. Uh, the past couple weeks, I have learned so much about being more productive in less time. And I want to tell you guys, I want to tell you how I'm doing it. And I want to share with you all the goodness. So if you guys are new, hey, my name is Lisa. I love to help women feel amazing in their skin and rock their self-confidence. I help them attain optimal and vibrant health. And I show them how to create a life that allows them more time with their family, even in the pockets of your day. If that's all you got, you can build a part-time business in the pockets of your day and be just like over the moon excited about what's possible, you guys. Okay, so if you're new, drop new, say hi. How's it going? Thanks for being here, friends. I see you guys. Y'all, I only have a few minutes before I got to run out the door to get our oldest daughter from gymnastics. I almost didn't go live right now, but I thought, what the heck? I'm going to do it. I'm going to practice what I preach. I'm going to find that pocket of my day and go live because a lot of y'all know you need to be going live, but you use that excuse of you just can't fit it in and you don't have time. If you have 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you can go live. All right, so the very, let me get my notes. The very first tip that I have for you when it comes to being more productive in less time, when it comes to social media, go where your audience is, okay? Go where your audience is. Be on the platforms that you feel comfortable with and confident with, and then provide the value on those platforms. Don't worry about the Instagram and the LinkedIn and um, the WhatsApp and I don't even know what else is out there. Focus on one platform at a time, okay? For the past couple years, I've been working really, really hard on building my social media presence on Facebook, and it has been awesome. And I love Facebook so much because I feel it's the best place to grow relationships. It's very conducive, it's very fluid to making a new friend and then going over to Messenger and having a conversation and commenting on people's posts. I mean, it's very, there's so many little things you can do on Facebook to grow relationships. Let me know what your favorite platform is right now. Some of y'all probably love Instagram. And if you're building and working and gaining customers, then more power to you, keep on doing. But I wouldn't suggest trying to learn Instagram until you've really kind of, you know, expert or mastered Facebook, okay? That's really, I'm on Instagram, but, Instagram to me is like a foreign language. Like I like it, but I, I don't really, uh, and I'm learning how to use it, but I find that Facebook is just so much more conducive to building relationships. And if you are in the business of building relationships and you want to be where the people are building relationships and Facebook loves it when we grow our friendships and we grow right, Toby, exactly when we grow our relationships. The cool thing about Facebook is you can create a group, you can add more value in a group, you can go into groups, you can go where your audience is hanging out and you can provide value in there. So first and foremost, that's my number one tip is hang out in the places that you are, uh, find that you feel like the most comfortable on, okay? Um, go to those places. I love Facebook. Okay, let me know where you're most comfortable on. Drop it below in the comments. Um, the second thing that you want to be doing, um, and this, you guys, the reason I talk about this, and I talk about this with my private coaching clients, um, is because I spent a long time trying to grow my presence on social media, especially on Facebook. And what I was doing, I was just, I was scrolling. Like my thumb was hurting. All I was doing was scrolling, 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 wondering, how do I get seen? How do I get out there? Like, how do I get noticed? How do I become... Um, how do I create my influencer status? How do I create a brand? So I really was like, okay, if I'm going to do this thing called network marketing, I got to learn how to, I know I love Facebook too. I'm so grateful for Facebook. You guys wouldn't be in my life if it weren't for Facebook. So I'm so super grateful for Facebook. Um, so that's what I did. And so I had to go and learn how to create a brand, how to, how to become, you know, like work on my influencer status. I mean, I don't, I wouldn't say I'm like an influencer, you know, I'm not like the Kardashians by any means, but in my own niche in my in my area like i have a wonderful group of i have a wonderful tribe right i've been i have a wonderful tribe of like-minded women and men that i connect really well with and i can just i can pick that apart for you um and tell you a little bit more about that but i won't do that on that live i'm just going to go over a couple more things so i spent a lot of time learning how to like brand myself on facebook in fact if you guys want lisa's eight must knows for branding on facebook i will come back and drop the link you can go and you can get my freebie on my website you can go to lisa lisamuster.com, scroll down the page, you'll see it, get the free 
gift. You can go ahead and go and just get it right now. But it shares my my um, my eight must knows, and it kind of dives a little bit deeper into maybe thinking about how you're showing up on Facebook. All right, but next tip. So how do you be more productive? You create curiosity posts on Facebook. You want to create a curiosity post about what it is you do, who you help, the products you use, the benefits of the benefits. You want to create curiosity around it because you want people to have a conversation with you and reach out and go, hey, Lisa, what is it that you do? I'd like to learn more about what it is that you do. You don't want to give away all the cookie, right? I mean, Brian Fryer, my coach for for I don't even know how long now. I feel like I've known the guy for 20 years. It's probably only been maybe two. But that's one thing that he taught me really fast was you don't want to give away the cookie. When you put your company name up, when you talk about the, the name of your products, people are going to go to Google and they're going to look them up and they're going to make a decision based on what Google shows them, not what you show them. So show them the benefits, show them the results. And I'm in health and wellness, so I speak to that. But you can do it in other niches. You can do it in skincare. Girlfriends, I got so many friends and hair and hair care. I see hair pictures all the time. And of course it has me wondering, like, is that gonna work for me too? So it's making me curious, right? Hello, do you see the psychology here? There's actually psychology going on in curiosity posting, right? So if you are in health and wellness, I encourage you, create curiosity, don't give away the cookie, don't say what the product is. You want people to be reaching out to you and private messenger saying, hey, what is it that you do? How do you, at 45, continue to add muscle and look so great? No, I'm just kidding. But you know what I mean? Like, that's that's the hope is that, you know, maybe I'm inspiring some other women out there and they're like, hey, I want to do what Lisa does. And so they're going to reach out to me and ask me, how do I help them get into good shape? How do I help them attain optimal and vibrant health? So create the curiosity. When you create curiosity, it's a good post. You will have people liking it. You will have people commenting on it. And eventually, you will have people messaging you asking you what is it that you do the cool thing about the curiosity post you want to do this a couple times a week do it around the products do it around your business do it around the benefit of the benefit whatever that looks like for you curiosity posts are the key i'm seeing a lot of people in my feed right now my new friends and all they're doing is sharing the company and the specials and the promotions going on if that's working for you keep going but eventually that's gonna it's gonna put resistance up and people are gonna be like Ugh, enough already unfriend block moving on okay i'm just saying i've been around a while i see it happen all the time all right, so, okay, the next thing about how to create, how to be more productive in less time, this is still with like the curiosity. You guys get really good at telling your story. Get really good at writing up a story post. Get really good at, at like being vulnerable. Get really good at being authentic. Get really good at telling your story. Write your story. Write your story. People love to read stories. My kids love to hear stories. Adults love to hear stories. Oftentimes in my work, I tell a story about someone who has overcome an obstacle and you know through counseling and through therapy has become a different person share your story share your story share your story do a like write your story out write it in five different ways you know take it from a different angle share your story okay i can't say it enough get really good at sharing your story because i want to connect with people who have um who have had life experiences who have been through stuff who can show me what they've overcome those are the people i want to hang out with because they're inspiring you guys get what i'm saying are you picking up what I'm putting down? I hope so. Let me know. Give me some give me some hearts. Give me some likes if this is resonating with you guys. I only got a few more minutes and then I got to bust it over to gymnastics. All right. Another tip about being productive, set your timer. Set your freaking timer for when you get on Facebook. Set it, set it, set it, set it for 20 minutes. I have my girl set the timer on the stove. I have them set it for 20 minutes when I am just going to be talking with people. You don't want to spend your day and your life on Facebook. I mean, you can, and I'm sure it's fun if you're bored or need something to do, but I'm a really busy woman. I got a lot of, I got a lot of, what do they say? I got a lot of um, irons in the fire. I got a lot of things going on. First and foremost, our face, our go live Facebook bootcamp. We are still working on that, you guys. It is coming, I promise. We just want to make it awesome for y'all. So we are working on that, me and my partner, Michael, we got that coming. Um, my one-on-one -on -one coaching, you know, I'm busy, but I want, I love to connect with people, but I also know that I need to set a timer or else I will be on Facebook all day long because I just love people, right? I just love people. I can talk to people all day. All right. So you also want to give engagement in those, like maybe you set your timer for 20 minutes, give engagement in 20 minutes, but give real authentic engagement. Like give an honest comment. Don't just, you know, I see it on Instagram all the time. And I'm like, who is this person telling me they like all my content? Like, I don't know this person. It's not, it doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel authentic. When I'm on Facebook, it feels a lot more authentic. And that's the kind of engagement I give. And that's what I hope to receive. Okay. All right. And then you guys, my very, 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 very last tip about being more productive on Facebook, you know, 
Yes, Sharice, we are putting together a go live boot camp. Girl, you would love this. You would love this. You would be amazing in this. Um, it's coming soon. We are still putting it all together. But my very, very last tip, you guys, is all about boom. When you want to be more productive on social media, go live. Go, hey, Christian, thanks for being here. You guys, you've got to go live. This is the fastest way to grow your visibility, to gain influence, to become known, liked, and trusted. If you're not going live, if you're not going live, you are, I just, you know, I don't mean to scare you and I don't mean to freak you out, but maybe I do just a little bit because I don't want you to get left behind, okay? I don't want you to be, you know, three miles behind when, when everybody else is like, well, three miles ahead, right? I think if you're not going live, you're missing out on a huge opportunity. What, and this is why, and could, let me just share how this works. So when I go live, it is inevitable that I'm gonna get a bunch of messages afterwards saying, oh my gosh, thank you for your, this is all happening in private messenger, y'all. Thank you for going live. I've been struggling with that. Thank you for sharing tips on intermittent fasting. Thanks for sharing the workout tips. Thanks for sharing social media branding. And it's not like I'm going live so I can sell people or I can get them. I'm going live because I realized a couple years ago that being seen and getting my message out and helping people, making an impact was a lot easier when I went live. Because why? You guys see me. You hear me. Like, this is who I am. This is pretty much, I'm not as excited at the grocery store by any means or on the way to gymnastics, but pretty much, I mean, I'm in my work clothes today. I do have on flip flops. I take off my work shoes, but this is me. Like, this is Lisa Mustard. This is my home. You know, it's like, hey, come in, have a cup of coffee. Let's hang out and chat. Like, you get to know, like, and trust people or maybe the complete opposite, right? Maybe the complete opposite when people go live. Maybe you're like, hmm, you know, I thought I liked her, but not so much. And that's okay. We're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. But I really, really highly, highly recommend if you want to cut your time on Facebook in half, if you want to be more efficient in networking, if you want to be more effective in talking with people, if you want to, you know, if you want to be more productive in less time, then you've got to be going live. And I'm not saying you have to go live every day. No, 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 no. I'm saying you have to just start going live. And you have to, once you start, don't stop. If you guys have noticed, I haven't been on um, Facebook a whole lot the past like two weeks because I'm being more productive and the time that I'm on Facebook, okay? So gone are the days of scrolling, going to look at what the leaders are doing and wondering what are they doing? Well, they're working their tails off first and foremost. They're doing what we're doing. They're just doing it and the, they're just, they're just maybe more efficient, maybe they're more productive and they probably have built their uh, influencer status to the point where people are reaching out to them. How did they get there? You guys, it's been, it takes years. It takes years sometimes, but you can fast track your own results when you go live. I'm, I'm just, I promise you it will happen if you go live. I can't say it will, I can't promise you it will happen, but you have a better chance of attracting like-minded people. You have a better chance of attracting people who might be interested in your opportunity or your customers or as, uh, um, as become customers if you go live because they get to see you, hear you, they can't feel you or touch you, but it's really the next best thing. I hope you guys found this helpful. I'm sure I'm forgetting some tips, but those are really my three to four tips. I got, you know, if you want my eight must knows for branding, go to lisamustard.com, scroll down the page, go to get my free gift and you can get all of that information. Um, Facebook, Go Live Bootcamp is coming soon. It's coming so soon. I'm really excited to roll this out for you guys. It's gonna be awesome. And if you are wondering like, how do you build your audience on Facebook, then I am going to come back and talk to you more a little bit about that. I got some tips. I got some ideas. And I hope you guys have a great, great Tuesday. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thanks, Toby. Thanks, Cherise. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Go back and watch from the beginning. Thanks, Rita. I appreciate it all. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I know. You can't. My husband would not like it if people started to touch me. I mean, that would not be a good thing, right? Like, where is my brain going with that? You guys, I just appreciate you all so much. This is why I love Facebook. I love my new friends. I love connecting. I love sharing. You guys have a great day, and I will see you guys super soon. Take care.